Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna be covering a video that covers something very serious. Um, there was uh, basically a group of individuals that decided to um, violate a taxi driver and I wanted to kind of open up a discussion talking about something like this on this channel. Um, I know that there was a video in the past um, and actually I've talked about this in live streams, the pros and cons of being in America. One of the cons being the way that I feel like foreigners are treated in America. Um, there has been an uprise of, uh, you know, discrimination against, for instance, groups like Asians coming from um, Asia in general, all over, and just other d groups as well. And it's and, it, and it's it's very unfortunate. So um, we're going to go ahead and check this out. And then just, I guess I want to see like, you know, um, what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and I'll, I'll give my thoughts and feelings in this entire thing um, But let's just uh, let's see what they got to say man because uh, this was very Jarring and I'm definitely late to the party. This happened three days ago and um, It's been uh, we'll, we'll get into it There has been an alarming and rising spike in hate crimes primarily targeting Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders now, as I would listen to Peter Carlos Granda tells us, elected officials in L.A. are moving forward with a new campaign to help put a stop to this violence. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This girl right here is the primary perpetrator. Just to set the, the, the scene really quick, um, we have this young man right here uh, just trying to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just driving around. Um, you know, uh, doing Uber, which for those that don't know what Uber is, if you live under a rock, it's a <laughs> it's a driving service. Um, you know that you can you can call like you know a, a car on your phone that a dot pulls up to wherever you are, scoops you up, whatever. Now, um, while he's in the vehicle and stuff like that, these women get in and everything's going perfectly fine until this young lady right here, uh, who does not have a mask on during times like these. He asks her politely to put on a mask and she starts freaking out. So he actually says, I don't need you to be in my car. I, I'll, I'll drop you guys off. Um, please get out of my car and I'll, you can just you find, another, find another driver. And this is her response. She tried to. The video shows three women in the back seat during an Uber ride berating the driver. And they all think it's funny. It's so terrible, man. It's so terrible. He was very respectful the entire time. He was sitting there. The way he handled this was better than... He's better than me, man. He is better than me. I'm going to say that right now. He's better than me, bro. <laughs> it was threatening. I was scared of my life. Subakar Kabka is from Nepal and has been driving for Uber for three years. Jeez. He says he was picking up the three women in the Bayview area of San Francisco when he noticed one didn't have a mask. He asked her to put one on, and that's when they started coughing and yelling racial slurs. Yeah, literally, she starts coughing on him. Look at this. Look at that. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, like she starts coughing on him. She clearly started hitting him and stuff. He didn't even hit her back. He didn't hit her back. He ate that. And then he's like, yo, just please get out of my car. Like, I don't want you in here if you're not going to, like, you know, at least try to keep me safe. Like, what the heck? Like, just put on a mask. It's so simple. People here are freaking out over wearing masks. Like, they make it the biggest deal ever. I wonder how things are on the other side of the world. For a lot of my audience uh, from Germany and stuff and from Serbia and all that other good stuff, like, how is that going? I'm pretty sure in Serbia right now, like, almost everybody has the shot over there. So they probably don't have to wear masks over there. But uh, Germany is different. Um, like, how is it going over there as far as this whole situation goes? But this particular situation, this is insane. This is absolutely ridiculous. And, like, the fact that people can do this and they feel entitled enough to do something like this to other people it's just it blows my mind like the cursing thing was too much so the lady where the ladies were even talking about um shooting me uh, see that's that's horrible shooting somebody over someone asking you to put on a mask i would be scared for, for my life too and this man is literally like the most non-violent person ever you very professional and i have the utmost respect for him and that girl that did all that stuff Woo! There is a happy ending to this story. She, there's a warrant out for her arrest right now. Um, the the lady on the far left hand side, 
has already gotten arrested. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. This lady right here has already gotten arrested. The one in the middle, I'm pretty sure she's she's not going to get arrested because she didn't really do anything. But the fact that she was just kind of bystanding doesn't help at all either. But it's just man. Their cousins to shoot me. Um, it was, and they were making fun of my race. This is one of a series of incidents and attacks all across the country Jesus. against members of the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. Hate is something that we have to address. Today, the LA County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved and funded an anti-hate program to deal with this increase in violence. Officials say according to a report by the LAPD, anti-Asian crimes in Los Angeles jumped 114% in 2020 what that's insane that is absolutely insane and it's all because of just what people see on the media man it's so crazy so crazy this is ridiculous this is truly ridiculous and it's unfortunate that this had to take the turn it did you know um oh my gosh this is ridiculous but what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below because i find this situation to be very disturbing and it should have never happened in the first place. Um, and I'm just glad that this dude finally got justice. Um, and, you know, the the three, well, at least two of the three women are getting arrested for what they did. And um, it turns out that the, the, the girl I showed you in the red that was also that got arrested first. Um, she had like some fraud charges and stuff brought um, that were brought against her as well because she was... Um, you know, stealing other people's identity and stuff like that, like identity theft. It was insane, absolutely insane. So uh, all in all, this this did have a happy ending, but it is a very sad story. And I was, I'm was i curious as to whether or not there are stories like this where um, you guys live and stuff like that. Just let me know in the comments down below. Figured it would be something interesting to talk about. And um, that's pretty much it. See ya. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever, Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right? It's random content. I don't know what I'm going to be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and they're all the links will be in the description down below that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways i decide to have i'll remind you when the giveaways take place but you'll be surprised what i will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that i do the same thing back thank you guys so much for being amazing and i will see you in the next video take care peace